morning all across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts, all over New England, actually, these uh, record cold temperatures that are in the area. Yeah, 18 overnight. That broke the record of 20 degrees that was set in uh, 1982. So unusually cold again today here in southeastern New England. We've come up from those morning lows at least a couple of degrees. We're at 22 now, Providence, 19 in Smithfield. New Bedford still trying to get out of the teens. Taunton as well. 25 in Newport. Here's some updated information coming in here. 21 now, Smithfield. A 23 in Westerly. Another cold day leading the weather headlines after record breaking cold this morning will be maybe three, four degrees warmer this afternoon. The real warm up comes Thursday into Friday, but it also comes with a storm. It'll bring rain, fog to our area, some gusty winds and those milder temperatures getting back to more typical highs, but it doesn't last. We get another cold snap this weekend and look away. We could be seeing more spring snow. We're watching Saturday night, especially the track and development of a possible coastal storm. Could have enough cold air with it to change our rain to snow. A lot still to work out with that system. What we do know for this morning here, radar is quiet. Not expecting any showers through the day today. Bright sunshine this morning will likely give way to increasing clouds through the afternoon and evening. Those high clouds first to arrive out ahead of our approaching storm system. So 22 for the temperature right now in Providence. Winds are light, so at least there's not much of a wind chill to add to that cold. High pressure slides east for today. Storm system. Moving over the Great Lakes will track to our west. That track allows warmer air to come in on a southerly wind. We'll start to see that shift in the winds to the south this afternoon as that high pressure slides eastward. So warm air will surge up from the south. And again, not wintry weather for us with this system, but quite a bit of rainfall. Let's take you through the future cast for today. Again, you'll start to see those clouds fill in 41 degrees this afternoon. Winds turning to the south and picking up a little bit about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Sun will set at about a quarter past 7 this evening. Here are those increasing clouds at 5 o'clock this evening with uh, dry skies through about midnight. Then after midnight, we'll start to see some scattered showers. So we wake up to the risk of wet weather, even an occasional heavier downpour at 7 o'clock tomorrow for a tomorrow morning's commute. The risk of wet weather continues throughout the day. This is three o'clock in the afternoon, off and on first half of the day. Heaviest rainfall threat right now seems to be focused in the late afternoon and early evening. This is six o'clock in the evening. Oranges, reds, downpours, maybe a thunderstorm embedded within it and gusty winds as well. It tapers to lingering showers for Thursday night and into Friday. So we're looking at about an inch to an inch and a half of rain Again, that risk of isolated thunder in the southerly winds gusting between 30, 35, maybe even a few gusts of 40 miles per hour. So it is going to be a stormy day tomorrow. Temperatures though climbing well into the 50s down to 43 overnight. Friday with a lingering shower still around 52 degrees. 40s to near 50 on Saturday again dry during most of the day, but that potential is there for a coastal storm to develop. Some of our computer models still have it developing too far out to sea to have any major impact on us, but one of our more reliable computer models, the European, has just been pretty consistent over the last couple of days, bringing some precipitation into southern New England Saturday night with rain changing over to possibly some wet snow. Sunday's highs near 43.